previously. So far the dolly's holding up. Still, I would prefer a better one. And now for the shocking conclusion. If I get the silver streak, it's a free transfer. If I get the silver line, it's an interagency discounted transfer. Yeah, we're going with the free transfer. I'm starting to regret my decision to get the free transfer because I've seen like three copies of the more frequent Metro version of this bus already go by. I usually store the dolly in the wheelchair area, but both of those spots were taken this time, so I decided next best option would be to stand in the articulated section, which was actually quite nauseating, but also kind of fun while riding on the freeway. I took the Silver Streak to 7th and Grand in downtown LA, which I just realized the Silver Line goes a slightly different route through downtown, which would have led me to 7th and Flower a couple blocks west. No wonder I could never figure out where to board this thing on the way back. I realized the quickest way to the produce market goes straight through Skid Row, so, uh, viewer discretion advised. 7th Street had a nice protected bike lane going through downtown, but of course bike lanes are only good if they're being used properly. What, these pigeons want to race? The protected bike lane only lasted about halfway up to San Pedro Street, but soon enough we arrived at the market on 7th and Central. Of course I could have taken Metro Route 60 or 62 to get here like last time, but that would have kind of defeated the purpose of this video. Alright, I found the parking. Morale's high. Well, I found you don't have to come in the middle of the night like I did last time, but a lot of stuff might be gone by the time it's bright out. But at least everything's easy to see now. I found the organic $25. Squashy, are you enthused? Yeah. Not my best deal on dates, but I figured while I'm here, might as well get them. Peanuts have been added to the thing. Now this trailer doesn't feel the most stable considering how narrow it is and how top heavy I had it loaded, so I was being extra careful. But then this happened. Yay, bike lane. Well, I'm glad I didn't get that on camera. Nothing fell off. Speed restrictions. Speed restrictions. What effectively happened was, one of the wheels hit something, the trailer started rocking back and forth, and tipped over and started sliding on the ground. But thankfully nothing fell off. I then got lost trying to find the bus stop for the way back. No parking, baby. No parking in the bike lane. Ah, oh, come on, man! Ah, what street does the Silver Street go northbound on? So what's my consensus? 
As a dolly, it's great. As a trailer, not so much. I ended up way the heck up here on 1st Street. All right, let's see if I can do it right this time. We passed by a safe streets demonstration at City Hall, which was actually on the news. This counts as a mobility device, right? We make it back to El Monte Station, where I transfer to my local bus home. Maybe this wasn't the best idea because I left the box out for one day, a particularly warm day, and they all started turning black, which means they're all getting ripe at the same time. So I'm going to have to do something about that before this time bomb goes off. I know I'm always adamant about Cal Poly Pomona's avocados being the best, but these ones are not that bad. They're pretty good. And of the, the dozen that I've had, only one of them was bad. So Mexico avocados can be good. Just stop killing each other over them. Stop it. I don't want to see that in the news. Yes, as you can see from this random sample, the defect rate is actually pretty low, as there's only two that are exhibiting brown spots, and the rest are very yummy. So, good deal. Now to save $300,000 a year making my own avocado toast. <laughs> 